guys welcome to my channel so today i'm gonna make some more earrings today so as you know uh if you see my other video uh the earrings that i made last time uh it was all sold out so i'm so happy about that so i, th I thought uh let's go and make some more and i thought of uh, making video for that too so um let's start so these are the material that i'm gonna be using today most of this thing i got it from uh a craft store Amazon and of course uh, these are things from Dollar Tree so um, let's start with uh, this thing right here uh, I got this one from Walmart um, and I have a baking tray with the parchment paper here and these are the hooks and uh, this is actually a jump ring and uh, I'm gonna be also using fish hook and something like that all right and um i bought this thing right here from um amazon actually it's a shaping kind of a cookie cutter so this is what i'm going to be using to create the shape of my earring and if you want to know where i got this actually i am going to put the link down below in the description if you want to check it out and um I also bought one main thing which I'm gonna be using today which is polymer clay so let me show you that let me put everything on the side for now and it comes in this Santa box like that uh, yeah. Down, but yeah something like that and uh, I did open it as you can see But I didn't open it from here. So let's see what's inside. So this is actually a kid's clay. But I can definitely use that, right? If you are also like me, trying something new. I say always buy a kit and see if you like it. And then um, see what you want to do. So this, this box have uh, 36 colors. And this is of course uh, oven baked clay. So make sure if you want to buy uh you need to buy own baked clay uh if you are making earrings like me okay so let's see what's inside oh yeah it's a, actually <laughs> i bought it and i mark it as a gift so that's why i think they sent me this and it's a manual how to use uh, clay i guess yep and uh let's see what's that okay i'll see this later but yeah see a bunch of these colors i really want to try different colors this time because last time i only had four colors so i only uh, used four colors and i can't believe i sold out all those so i thought let's let's make some more so uh this one also have these tools to create the texture on um Let's open this. Ooh, look at that. I love these colors. Oh, I love this one too a lot. I really want to make earrings out of this color. Okay. So let's start making earrings. So um, I'm going to create... Um, I don't know how what I'm going to create with these colors. It's so beautiful. I don't know which one to pick. I'm gonna try using this color and let's create a sunflower because I really want to make sunflowers so I'm gonna use a yellow and uh, orange that's it for now let me put those back okay I have a two yellows. I don't know which one I should use. Which one is better? Let's stick with this one. Alright, let's open that. And I'm gonna make a ball and I'll be back. This thing right here. So this is where I'm gonna roll so that I don't make a mess here on my workspace. And I'm gonna be... And I'm... Oh, and I'm gonna be also using this uh, roller that I have. Alright, so uh, I changed my mind and I, I 
Actually, I'm not gonna use this color. So I'm gonna use a different color, which is a lighter one. It's almost like a, a light peach shade. So uh, now let's start rolling this thing. And this is gonna stick, of course. should be fine okay yeah nope Okay, that's good. I'm gonna smooth out the edges first. As you can see this is not straight so I'm trying to make it straight line here that's good okay I'm just gonna roll this again one more time to create a small shape maybe a circle this time gonna use any other color on this so I'm just gonna put this on my baking tray just to so I'm gonna bake this first uh, I mean after I'm done with all of my earring I'm gonna bake this earrings first to see if I like my sunflower earring or not and then uh, I'm gonna create more to sell it on my Etsy in case if anyone here is interested all right so now let's start uh, adding oops now let's start adding our um, flowers so for that I already um, rolled this thing I think I see it's already become so hard so let's just uh, mix everything together one more time and then Good enough let's start with this one first I'm just gonna make a like a roll and I'm done I'm gonna create this shape I don't know if you can see that okay so let's say I'm gonna add my flower right there so I'm gonna do I'm just gonna keep uh, placing this those petals so those all of my uh, petals are not e even shape because you know how the nature is right it's not perfect so we don't need to create any perfect shape here so I'm not pressing so hard not right now okay I'm just gonna move 
this. like that in the center of my paddle alright, now I'm gonna add the center using this orange actually I'm gonna use um, this darker color alright and then I'm gonna use this dollar three the dollar tree thing um, and all I'm gonna do is just make a hole not a hole I'm sorry just kind of uh, creating this texture I don't know if you can see that like this thing something like this and I'm gonna finish the whole thing and then I'll be back all right so here I'm all done with these earrings and um, I don't know if you can see this but I also add that tiny little ball here of uh, this brown color and then I am just using this tool and there it is right here so all I'm doing is just pressing there one time and that's create this texture all right so here i'm all done uh, with my earring all i'm gonna do is just bake this now um and let me grab this thing right here i just want to make sure what fahrenheit i should do that Ooh, you can also boil this what boil method wow okay so in case if you don't have if you don't have oven you can also uh, boil it and something like that okay let's see for the baking it says uh, preheat between 248 and 266 Fahrenheit for 15 minutes a so I'm gonna bake this about like a 250 Fahrenheit for about like a 15 minutes and see uh, if it's hard enough. If not, I can just bake that maybe another 5-10 minutes. Alright, so here I'm all done uh, with all of my earrings. As you can see, I also had a whole bunch of uh, other uh, earrings too. I don't know if you can see the texture there or not, so I bring the light closer. But yeah, that's what I'm trying to do and let's bake this. the foil over my baking tray so that when I put it in my oven it maintains the temperature so here I'm just gonna put it it's ready it's already preheated and I'm just gonna put it in here and I will see you about like a, after 20 minutes all right 
So I'm back now uh, and it's nicely baked. So I bake about like a 20 minutes for 225, uh, I'm sorry, 250 Fahrenheit. So uh, it is all done. As you can see, it's so pretty. I really like it. Uh, so I'm just gonna smooth out a little bit more of these edges. So I have this tool right here. Uh, in case if you don't have this tool, uh, you make sure you make, poke a hole for uh to connect your um this fish hook and also this um jump ring i'm sorry i forgot the name so okay so make sure you also just make a hole right there wherever you want to attach your earring and uh, i have this tool that's why i didn't really make a hole because i wasn't sure which piece i want to use for which one now i'm going to de decide that and then i'm going to put a hole and let's start sending it So I'm all done uh, sending everything. Now I'm just gonna poke a hole wherever I want to connect it. And for that, I'm using this tool right here uh, to make a hole. All right, so let's do that. All right, so here I'm all done um, poking a hole. And as you can see, it's a mess right now, but I'm just going to clean that later. But this is how it's going to look like. I hope you can see the hole, but something like that. Alright, so let me go ahead and uh, poke a hole for all of my other earrings and then um, I'll be back. Alright, so here I'm all done sanding all of my earring uh, materials, uh, the pieces, whatever you want to call. What I'm going to do now is uh, apply some poly acrylic. Uh, so it's a varnish and uh, it gives a nice gloss. So let me show you how. So I hope you can see the gloss on this one. So something like that. Let's see if I can uh, show you this one too. I don't know if you can see the gloss, but um, so let's cover everything. Just going in the one direction so that uh, I don't see any brush strokes. So I'm just going to do like a one layer here. I don't need two layers so here I'm all done applying uh, glaze I mean uh, the poly acrylic and this is how it looks like now I'm just gonna let it dry for a couple hours all right so here I'm all done uh, applying the poly acrylic on all pieces and now it's nice and shiny nice and glossier now I'm gonna connect all of those pieces using uh, let's I'm gonna use First, uh, jump ring so for that I'm just gonna grab I like to keep it in this container so it's very easy to use and I don't lose them all right so uh, first I'm gonna connect this two piece first so first I have to make a space so let's see I'm and I'm using this tool right here I got it from uh, Walmart so I don't know if you can see this, but here. So definitely don't get it from Walmart. It's not a great tool. Uh, it's uh, it's not working as I really want it to. That's why I'm also using this thing right here. But um, like I said, I'm just starting out uh, with the jewelry. So that's why I don't really want to spend a lot. And after I make some money, making and selling this jewelry i will definitely invest on this uh, later so um here i'm just gonna connect i need to make some more space
Alright, so something like that. It's gonna look like. Alright, and then I'm also gonna add one more over here. And then I'm gonna add a face hook so that we can wear this, right? Something like that. all of my uh, earring and I'll be back all right so here I'm all done uh, connecting all the pieces and this is how it look like so I did broke one of uh, this brown one so I have to use the different uh, one that I made so uh, let me show you that too um, so here it is um, so yeah this one area is broken so I can't really use this anymore but um, I use this matte one and I really like that actually uh, instead of this glossier one with this one so um, yeah overall it turned out so good I really like it and um, and I also messed up with this one so I, whenever I make again I am definitely gonna make one more piece for the bottom one so um, so you also make mistake right so here it is a finished one and I also like this one too so let's see there you go let me know in the comment which one you like the most now since I'm gonna sell this I also made the backing for this earring so let me show you that too so usually uh, I just add my name there and my um, social media stuff and my Etsy website and I don't have any other kind of a tool. I just what I do is just make a poke a hole like that. That's my first. And sorry about the lighting. Um, I bring one light upstairs and then I'm just so lazy to go upstairs. <laughs> okay, so this is how it looks like. But let me know what you think about this. Um, in your comment um, and let me know if you want me to try something else uh, in case if, if anyone like anything what I make here I also have an Etsy shop so you can also shop there all of my earring that I make and all of uh, the other art that I make like canvas painting um, so many other stuff stickers so um, yeah thank you so much guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching and making this earring with me and thank you so much for watching and for support and for supporting and i'll see you next time whenever i make or paint anything uh next time all right bye